Welcome to this short presentation in which I would like to give you some guidance on how to choose the proper reference standard for your analytical task on pharmaceutical quality control. To find out what is the best choice for your task, you can go through a few questions and answer them for yourself. The first question to answer could be if you are working according to the monograph method or if you are using your own in-house method. If the answer is yes, I am using the monograph method, the best choice would be the reference standard from the corresponding pharmacopoeia because it is designed for that special use. Alternatively, you can use a secondary reference standard that has been established by comparison to the pharmacopoeia reference standard. If the answer is no, I am using an in-house method, then it could be better to consider reference standards other than those of the pharmacopoeia because the pharmacopoeia reference standards are not necessarily suitable for that application. The pharmacopoeias guarantee the suitability of their reference standards only if they are used in combination with the monograph method. Otherwise, it is up to the user to ensure the suitability of the reference standard. And we have seen that pharmacopoeia reference standards have been challenged seriously for an off monograph use. So let's have a look at the alternatives. The next question you can answer is if you are looking at an API or at an impurity. If you are testing an API, the properly characterized primary reference standard would be the best choice. Definitions of primary reference standards and guidance how to obtain them is available from several sources, like WHO, FDA, ICHQ7 guideline, or EP General Chapter 5.12. The characterization that is needed to obtain a reference standard that is suitable for your purpose depends on how you answer the next question, which is, do you want to identify the API? or do you want to quantify it? For identification, a qualitative reference standard with a simple purity estimation by HPLC is sufficient, while a quantitative primary reference standard requires an accurately assigned assay. We will have a closer look at that on the next slide. On the other side, if you are looking at an impurity, you can use an impurity reference standard, which is usually characterized less extensively than a primary API reference standard. Nevertheless, again, the necessary characterization steps are depending on whether you want to identify or quantify the impurity. So let's take a closer look at the characterization of the different reference standards. For a qualitative reference standard, the identity of the material must be ensured. So for both primary API reference standards and also for the impurity reference standards, it is recommended to verify the identity by several orthogonal methods. Not all of the listed methods need to be applied, but I would recommend to do at least three, like for example, NMR spectroscopy, mass spectrometry, and IFR spectroscopy. Furthermore, the purity of the material should be checked by HBLC or GC, because if the purity is too low, the interpretation of the spectra could be difficult. Regarding the quantification, the recommendations are different for primary reference standards and impurity reference standards. For impurity reference standards, the assay is usually assessed by 100% method. In order to calculate the assay properly, purity, water content, and residual solvents content need to be determined. The same is done for the primary reference standards, but in that case, it is recommended to additionally determine the assay by a second independent method, for example, QNMR or titration. Furthermore, inorganic residues should be determined, for example, by sulfate ash. So this was a very short summary of the different types of reference standards and how to make a choice which one to use. If you want to have much more detailed information, I can recommend two of our micro -more white papers that you can find on our website. One about the different types of reference standards and their characteristics and uses, and the other about the characterization of impurity reference standards. If you have further questions, you can email us at pharma.tech at lgcgroup.com. And now I want to thank you for watching and say bye-bye.